Today we're gonna make a glider with this foam board and if we run out, cardboard. Then I can I'm gonna also be using tape and possibly glue and there might be a little su surprise and I might add to it if, it if it flies pretty well. Let's start building. Okay, I built the wing and it's kinda big. I mean, it's taller than me. So I put like flaps here so there's more like control surface so you can make it feel like, more like this, how it like slow down a little bit. So you have more control because once it, it's a glider, so once it's in the air, you can't really do anything with it. So you have to make sure we have these like, because if it dies, you want to have them so it doesn't die. You can't fix that mid-flight so you don't have a controller. I connected them with a small piece of foam and this thing right here. But then I realized that the fuselage part will be going there, so then it'll just be lost. I'm gonna cut these parts, this thing right here, so now they can go separate. Time to build the rest of it. So I forgot to do like a test flight with this before I built, before I went over to there to build it, so I'm just gonna throw it. I'm pretty sure it's gonna flip because I have nothing to keep it like that or like that. So. It does pretty well. I mean, it went pretty like straight and then it just kind of flipped a little bit. So once I have that tail section, it's probably pretty good. Whoa, that went pretty well. Considering you didn't even have wings. So I just built the tail, put these little thin things on it for like stabilization, put that center thing. All we have to do is do that and we're pretty much ready to go. We just need to do a few minor adjustments so we can fly it. But it's getting a little bit late so I might have to fly it tomorrow. So it's a new day, I attached the tail and the wing. Um, I added this little door here. We're all pretty much ready to um, do a test flight. But I'm just gonna explain uh, how I built it first. So I started with the wings. Like, I used a trifold board, so the part where those like, little wings fold out, like that hinge, is right there. I cut a little bit like to the side of that, so I have flaps. Then I, I um, cut a little notch into the paper, so I can fold it over and then just taped it on. And then I used basically the same method for this. I just cut these out, cut strips there, taped it on top, and I, like yeah, pretty simple. And then, so this thing right here is designed to drop those little like firework snapper things, you know, like you throw them on the ground like before the July and they explode, like they think, kind of loud. So you put like one or two here, and this, this thing is on the bottom, I just put it here for the test flights. It falls down, pulls open the door, and they fall out, and boom. Okay, I'm gonna throw it. We don't have a lot of space, so I'm not gonna throw it too hard. I threw that like barely hard at all, and that was, and it hit the door. We should go, I'm gonna go out on the street and then throw it. Okay. Let me see how far this goes. Or if it crashes. I think that's probably an issue. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Looks like it's coming like back. A little bit. Maybe I no idea. Do that. That? I don't know. Wait, no. Opposite. Yeah, I kind of think this is broken. Oh well. It might work this time. Better. Wait, what I need 
need to do is throw it like close to the ground. I think we only have a couple more tries left. It's a little hard to get it to stay in there because as you can tell, it's a little bit bendy. Oh, let's try it. It didn't even work.